so good evening good evening everyone uh, welcome to this uh, live lesson uh, presentation uh, i want to uh, do some introductions i have students with me uh, maybe they'll be unmuting and introducing introduce themselves so let's start with mawa Hello everyone, I'm Mawa Zurich from Yellow. Thank you very much. Aluda. Hello everyone, I am Clinton Aluda from Yellow Secondary School. Thank you very much, welcome Aluda. Kemboy. Hello everyone, I am Kemboy Daniel from Yellow Secondary School. Uh, thank you, then I have a colleague of mine Mr. Inganji, uh, welcome to this meeting. Please introduce yourself. Good evening, everybody. I am Mr. Alex Inganji, a teacher of chemistry and physics, Kisangula Secondary School. Thank you, Mr. Inganji. So uh, this evening, I have uh, a lesson that I uh, want us to share. Uh, I will be sharing my screen with you. So the students, I uh, want you to remember that whenever you are not talking, you should ensure that your microphone is uh, uh, muted. And whenever you want to talk, uh, there are uh, several ways. <clears throat> you can raise your hand up. You can also uh, just uh, unmute so that you can uh, talk. Uh, I can be able to get you from uh, this particular end. So uh, in my lesson, I want to use a PowerPoint presentation. So just before that, I want to share my, sc my screen with you. And Mr. Inganji, you'll be very handy uh, to me uh, because you'll be telling me if everything is okay on the other uh, side. Mr. Inganji, are you there? Yes. Uh, thank you very much, sir. So right now, I don't know if you can see that I'm sharing my screen with you. What can you see on the other end, Mr. Inganj? I'm yet to see, I'm yet to see your screen. I don't know if my the students can see. Because uh, I'm seeing that it's like I'm sharing a screen. <laughs> Let, let me let me see. Let me check again. I don't know whether the students are seeing. Uh, are you seeing uh, Aluda? Am I sharing a screen? Uh, let me stop so that I can reshare then. Ajega Emily, welcome to the meeting. Ajega Emily, welcome to the meeting. So I want to reshare my screen, Mr. Inganji, once more. Sour. It's, yeah, it's now okay, Mr. Masari. It is okay. Eh? Very clear. Very okay, clear. Good. What are you seeing on your screen? Assessment, activity six. Okay, no, that's not the one that I want to start with. So maybe okay. uh, let me just redo that. Yeah. Right now, what are you seeing, Mr. Inganj, on your screen? <laughs> I can see the lesson plan, the lesson plan. Very good. So that's where I wanted to start with. So the students okay. and uh, my uh, colleague teacher, uh, I have an online lesson plan, as you can see now, uh, with my details, uh, my name, my teacher's number, my school, and all those details. 
Uh, today, the topic that I want us to look at is air and combustion. Then the subtopic that I want to look at is uh, laboratory preparation of oxygen gas. Up to there, Mr. Inganji, are we okay? Very okay. Very good. So the objectives of today's lesson are three. As you can see from uh, uh, your screen, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to state at least one method of preparing oxygen gas in the laboratory. And the second uh, objective for this lesson is uh, uh, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the test for oxygen gas. And the last objective is that by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to state at least two physical properties of oxygen gas. I have the rationale for the lesson. I have the background uh, knowledge and skills. The student ought to uh, know the methods of gas collection. The student should also recall uh, manipulation of the laboratory apparatus. In my lesson plan, I have the reference uh, books and uh, I have the materials that I'm going to use in this uh, lesson. So if I go to the next slide of my lesson, uh, this is simply uh, the way I'm going to execute my lesson. I have the stage or the time where I have the introduction, the lesson development, the conclusion and the evaluation. Then I have the teaching or learning activities as highlighted. Uh, I'll ensure that I've achieved mm -hmm. this as we move on. Then the learning points and the remarks column, I'll fill the remarks column by the end of uh, this live lesson uh, presentation. So that is uh, my lesson plan. Let me now go to the slides that I'm going to use to deliver uh, this lesson. But just before that, I believe the students who are with me, you recall that um, uh, we have different methods of preparing oxygen gas in the laboratory. In this class, I know I'm using the multigrade approach to teach, and therefore I have at least a form one, a form two, a form three, and a form four. So just before I proceed to uh, today's work, I want uh, one of you to tell me one of the methods of preparing oxygen gas, probably a form three or a form four. Just unmute any one of you. I cannot be able to see the other screen. That's why you are at liberty just to unmute and then you talk, please. Aluda, are you there? <laughs> Aluda, are you there? Maua, one of the methods of preparing oxygen gas in the laboratory. Mr. Inganji, seemingly is, is everyone getting me? <laughs> I am getting you very well. Yeah, I don't know the I don't students know because I cannot access the other screen. <laughs> okay. Al Aluda, are you there? You unmute, then you talk. Aluda. It's like they are not there. Any student who is there to unmute and talk so that I know that there is a student that I'm talking to, at least. Okay, can I say my name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, try, try. Welcome, Mawa. Delivery. You know. I'm not getting you clearly. <laughs> Over water method. Over water method. So over water method is a method of collecting gases, but I asked for uh, the different methods that you can use to prepare oxygen gas. What do you react 
which chemicals, which reagents do you react so as to come up with oxygen gas, to produce oxygen gas? Okay, as we proceed, you'll be able to know those methods. Now, so on your screen, you can see that I have a life lesson presentation. The subject is chemistry. The topic is uh, air and combustion. Maua, can you read my screen? What is the subtopic that we are, we are dealing with? A subtopic? Yeah, where my casa is, where my casa is, just read. Laboratory preparation of oxygen gas. So laboratory preparation of oxygen gas. That is what you want to deal with. So I'll move to the next slide, uh, which is showing the methods of preparing oxygen gas. So the methods of preparing oxygen gas, maua, they have been highlighted on the screen. The first one is uh, decomposing hydrogen peroxide using manganese for oxide. The second one is reacting sodium peroxide and water. The third one, uh, maua, can you read? Eating potassium chloride five, chloride five. Chloride five, very good. Can you read the last one? Heating metal nitrate. Heating of metal nitrate. So those are the methods that we can use in the laboratory so that we can uh, prepare oxygen gas. So in this lesson, we are going to focus on the first method, which is decomposing hydrogen peroxide using manganese for uh, oxide. On to the next slide. Uh, you can see there is some question there. The key question in our lesson is, uh, Maua, now that you seem to know how to manipulate the mic, read for us the key question. How is oxygen gas prepared in the laboratory? So how is oxygen gas prepared in the laboratory? So this is the key question that we need to answer in this uh, uh, class. So. If uh, we move to the next slide, uh, we have the chemicals or the materials and the apparatus that we will uh, uh, use so that we prepare oxygen gas in the laboratory. On the left hand side, I have listed the chemicals or the materials. So I'm going to use uh, Maua, Mr. Inganji. Yes, yes, sir. Other than Maua, who is also active there? Are you seeing the, the other students so that I don't just use Maua? Uh, let me see whether I can. Yes, uh... The other part. I am Maua. online. Yeah, yeah. Apart, apart from Maua, who else is there? We have uh, Mashada. Mashada. Then the other ones, uh, there is another one using Techno Common 12. I don't know which yeah, student that is, is that. Yeah, that is Kemboi. Kemboi, I want you to read for me the first chemical here, where my cursor is. Kemboi, you unmute first. 200 millimeter of 20 volume. Is it of 20 millimeter? Volume of is it millimeter? Can you check? <laughs> 200 ml, ml of 20 ml. volume of 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. Very good. Next, where I'm putting the cursor? Three gram of manganese, five oxide. Is it five? Manganese, four oxide. Very good. We continue. One wooden splint. And lastly, there. One liter of tap water. Very good. Maua, can you tell us the apparatus that I've highlighted on the right hand side? Number one. Two gas, gas. Let's just continue like that. One beehive shelf. One water trough, 250 millimeter glass beaker. One complete stand and clamp. One twisted funnel or dropping funnel. One clear metallic. Is it clear? Bachelor. Clear. Can you check again? One clean. Yes. Metallic spatula. One one new shape. 
two shaped delivery tube, one flat bottomed flask, one source of heat, and two ja just ja gas ja covers. Covers, very good. So those are the chemicals or the materials and the apparatus that we are going to use in this uh, uh, experiment that we want to carry out. So in the next slide, as uh, you can see on your screen, I have the procedure that we are going to uh, follow, the steps that we will go through so that we carry out this experiment. Number one is half fill a trough with tap water. Then number two is uh, place a beehive shelf into the water. And thirdly, completely fill the gas jar with water and invert it and invert in it onto the beehive shelf. Then lastly, I want to call upon uh, Kemboy to read for us. Clamp the last step in the procedure. Clamp a flat bottom flux and set up the apparatus as shown. As shown. So the next slide is going to show us the setup of apparatus. So the setup of apparatus as displayed on your screen, you can see it's um, uh, showing the, the materials that you are talking about or the, the chemicals that you are talking about and the apparatus well arranged for the experiment. So we have the setup is shown, we have a complete stand and then there is the clamp. We have the uh, flat bottom, the flask. Then we have the dropping funnel, as you can see, we have the delivery tube. If you are following my CASA, then uh, I believe you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, we also have uh, this uh, water trough. We have the water trough we have the beehive shelf onto which we have placed the gas jar. Then the chemicals that you are using, uh, we have uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is uh, being acted upon by manganese for uh, oxide. So if we pour hydrogen peroxide through the dropping funnel, then uh, there'll be some decomposition of this manganese of uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, using the manganese for oxide and we shall have generation of gas from this uh, 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 th from this uh, gas generator then the gas will be able to move through this uh, delivery tube and we shall collect it by over water method so if we move to the next slide the next slide is simply a screenshot of a video that i'm about to play uh, we have a teacher there who is uh, uh, trying to perform the experiment live, but I don't want to uh, take a lot of time looking at the screenshot because we want to play the video. So let me try to play the video. I believe my teacher, my co-teacher, Mr. Inganji, is uh, listening so that he'll Very be able to tell me if we have some technical hitches. So I want to play um, the video. Okay. Are you seeing some video on your screen, Mr. Inganji? Yes, yes, yes. Very good. So the students, I want you to watch the video. It's just about three minutes uh, long. Then we will be able to respond to questions regarding uh, that video. So let me play the video.
So we've now collected one gas jar of oxygen gas. So let's continue watching to see what the teacher is going to do next. So bubbles of a gas are being produced in chemistry, we refer to that as effervescence. Kemboy, I believe you are singing and not dancing to the tunes. Yes. So that is it for the video. Just before I go back to the slides, uh, Maua, can you tell me one of the observations that you made? Maua, or anybody who is uh, ready to answer that? I've seen the test of oxygen. Yes, what I is it? Yeah, I'm getting you. Rabbi, oxygen relates the glowing flame. Very good. So let's go back to the slides so that uh, uh, we continue with our lesson. So I believe the observations were very clear to us, uh, whereby uh, the first one, Kemboi, you can read for us. Are you seeing the screen? The first yes. point, the first observation. Read observation. for Observation. Bubbles of a colorless gas are produced in the flat bottom flask. Very good. The second one, Aluda. The second observation. So it's like Aluda left the meeting. <laughs> Maua, the second observation. Gas produced is collected over water in the gas jar. Very good. I, I think uh, Aluda is back. Aluda, are you back? Aluda, are you back? Yeah, she, I think he could be back. There are three. It is okay, it is okay. So, Mr. Abulwa, uh, I can see you are joining us. I don't know if you can get me. Mr. Abulwa. Okay, Mawa, continue. Read for us the second observation. The second observ observation is that the gas produced is heated over water in the gas jar. Very good. And the last one. I'm not getting you. Oh, you are not getting us, eh? Mawa, can you be very audible? Read for us the last observation. Gas produced relies a glowing splint. Relies a glowing splint. So those are the major observations that we have made in this um, uh, experiment. And uh, if we go to the next slide, we are seeing that uh, in conclusion, as I uh, conclude my lesson, that we have a word equation for the reaction. Word equation because on this, uh, in this class, I have from ones who do not know how to write chemical equations. So hydrogen peroxide, as you can see, it is being 
acted upon by manganese for oxide so as to produce oxygen and water. So what do we normally call manganese for oxide in this uh, kind of a reaction? Maua, you are a form for. We term manganese for oxide as a what in this reaction? It's a catalyst. Good, a catalyst. Remember, a catalyst uh, is a, a substance that uh, speeds up the rate of a chemical reaction, but rem remains uh, uh, unchanged at the end of the reaction. So manganese for oxide is being used as a catalyst. Then remember, we were looking at uh, the objectives of our lesson. As we conclude the physical properties of oxygen gas, we have uh, the first one there. Uh, Aluda, you are back. Can you read for us the first physical property of oxygen gas? Mr. Inganchi, do we have somebody, uh, Ole something? Phone, Ole phone, Ole phone. Mr. Inganji, or he's lost. <laughs> Mr. Inganji, are you there? So seemingly, Mr. Inganji Mr. cannot get I can, me. I can hear you, Mr. Masari. Yeah? It is OK. We Mr. don't have somebody on the phone, on the phone. He's not in. It is OK, it is OK. So uh, Maua, seemingly, you are uh, the one who is uh, having some stable network, read for us the physical properties of oxygen gas. The first one is? It is colorless. It is colorless, very good. The second one? It is slightly soluble in water. So we were able to see the first and the second physical property from the experiment. But the third one, uh, which we are saying that it has no smell, we were not able uh, to, to, to get that now that uh, we are doing these things online because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but it has no smell. Then lastly, it is tasteless. So those are the physical properties of uh, oxygen uh, gas. Now, back to our objectives. We say that by the end of this lesson, the student should be able to uh, at least give us uh, one of the methods of preparing oxygen gas. So we can revisit that. Aluda, can you tell us one of the methods of preparing oxygen gas? Unmute Aluda. It seems Aluda is having problems. <laughs> Kemboi, one of the methods of preparing oxygen gas? Decomposing hydrogen gas using manganese for oxide. Is it hydrogen gas? <laughs> Let me confirm. It is what? Mashada, you are raising up your hand. Tell us, it is which, which substance? And I say it can be over water method. What? I'm asking, me. I'm asking for the chemical that we decompose using manganese for oxide. What is it called? Chemical that we use? To decompose hydrogen peroxide. To, to, I'm asking about the substance that we decompose using manganese for oxide to give us oxygen and water. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, very good. Then the next uh, objective was uh, to ensure that you as a student should be able to give the confirmatory test for, ox for oxygen gas. So what is the confirmatory test for oxygen gas? Oxygen gas. Yes, yeah. Mashada, you've raised up your hand. <laughs> I think it's 
that it is light a glowing splint it delights a glowing splint very good and then lastly uh you should be able to tell us at least two physical properties of oxygen gas hands up at least two physical properties of oxygen gas my mashada is also raising up her hand <laughs> welcome eh it is colorless and also it tasteless it is colorless it is also tasteless uh very good so that concludes our lesson uh today but uh, just before i conclude i have some assignment for you uh you will uh, you will attempt you will attempt uh, this activity on assessment uh whereby i have activity 6 you will get it in your google classroom so if you can read the question maybe mashada now that you are, your network is very stable can you read for us what is under the activity please, please. just read loudly the google classroom and fill the google form it is an assignment with multiple choices immediately after submitting the assignment it will be marked in instantly by the system and your marks will be given to you on the spot very good so there is an assignment for you i'm going to post it in the next like 30 minutes so that you will attempt it uh the due date is 8th of october so you still have some time so just uh, before i close the class uh completely uh i want you to Uh, ask questions regarding today's uh, today's class if you have a question you can ask i can see mashada's hand is up again mashada you can ask your question Hey, I have a question where by I'm yes. the what is the difference between testless and dualless So So odorless has to do with the sense of smell but test T A S T E has to do with the sense of uh, sense sense of sense of uh, what is it called ya kutumia ulimi sense of taste have used kiswahili so that you can understand so smell and uh, taste so we have sense of smell and sense of taste so you use your tongue to taste but you use your nose to smell so odorless has to do with the nose uh, whereas uh, uh, the other one has to do uh, with the tongue are you okay mashada are you okay yes i'm okay thank you i don't know if there is any other question so that we don't lock any student out so seemingly there is no other question so i want to thank you for attending this class so as i stop sharing my screen i will uh, let this to be open so that uh, at least we can ask other questions let me stop sharing now so mr inganji yes sir are you there i saw abulo trying to join it's like he did not make it Abulwa managed to join but uh, I don't know why the mic no, he, he's the here right now was... right now I I can see is around <laughs> The mic my the mic Mr Abulwa can you get us Or you can <laughs> Also it's like he doesn't know how to join Ama what is it 
the the mic uh, the mic icon is off i can only see the video option on her on his uh, on his timeline if i can use that term the yeah. mic option is there so now that uh, is like we have concluded the other class uh, let me stop uh, rec post recording I believe Mr. Abulwa is now connecting in Ganj. Now, Anatuskiza Sasa. Welcome, Mr. Abulwa, to this meeting. <laughs> uh, now we can, you can get us. Yeah, he could be, yeah, he should be able to get us now. Yeah, right now he's getting us. So let him unmute. <laughs> so that uh, maybe we can tell him how far we've gone. Okay. Oh, Mr. Abulo, welcome to this meeting. <laughs> karibu, karibu, karibu. Thank you for the meeting. Yeah, we, we are- I was not able to get the- Those are the challenges yeah, I was not able to get the sound. But I was looking at the screen, the presentation. Oh, you are looking Although at the, the screen alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Although I also joined late. Yeah, I also joined late. So I just saw part of the presentation. Eh? Okay. And I was able to follow a few things. Yeah. It is okay. Then maybe we can do some introductions. Eh? So uh -huh. I have some, some students. Uh, uh, Mawa, can you unmute and greet everybody? Now that we have a new member who has joined us. Hello, everybody. I'm Zurich from Vialo Second. You are in which form? Tell us the form in which you are. I'm in form four. Very good. Next. The first one to unmute. Hello, I am. I am Clinton Aruda from Vialo Secondary School. I'm from, I am in class, I am in form, I mean, I am in form three, form three central. You are in form three central. Very good, Aruda. <laughs> and lastly. Hello, everyone. I am Kim Daniel from, from Two West, from Vialo yeah. Secondary School. Very good. I am uh, thank you very much. Then, uh, Mr. Abulu, I have my colleague, Mr. Inganji. <laughs> I think you know Mr. Inganji. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Good but evening. Mr. Inganji, as you talk, eh, you will give yes. us a few sentiments about the whole lesson. We've had some okay. te techni technical uh, hitches with the students, network, and so on. Uh, maybe you okay. can tell us something before we bring in Mr. Abulwa. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. I must say I enjoyed the lesson. I've followed the lesson from the beginning to the very end. Uh, I have liked the engagement. I have liked the creativity of the teacher. I have liked the design of the PowerPoint presentations. I believe there are some things I need to learn from Mr. Masaria. They were very good. Uh, the lesson was presented at a very good pace. That was very good. And I want to commend the students for finding time to join in now. Especially, I know you have challenges with the network. Uh, being online for about one hour, I know is not cheap. I want to say that uh, what you have done will not go, it was not, not in vain. It is a good uh, beginning because as many of you will be furthering their studies, we'll discover institutions of higher learning are now going virtual. So you are privileged to be among the first uh, students to use this platform to learn. This is the way to go. So I have also learned a number of things during the presentation. I've been using Google Meet. Uh, but uh, as the teacher was presenting, I was also able to see some of the features that I can incorporate that is in Zoom. 
the lesson was good. The objectives were achieved. Mr. Masaria, kudos for the good work. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Inganji. Mr. Inganji, uh, we can clap for Mr. Inganji in a soft way. Let me clap. Uh, I'm clapping for Mr. Inganji. Uh, Maua, I'm not seeing your claps. The soft claps. <laughs> yeah, you, that is you. very good. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Don't let Kabisa Mr. Inganji. <laughs> Thank I you. can see even Aluda and Akupigia Makofi. That is very good. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. So, Mr. Bulwa, uh, we are sorry for the technical hitches that you had, but you are following. So, not all uh, is lost. So, my class is in such a way that I have form ones, form twos, form threes, and uh, uh, even form fours. So, it is multi grade. So, so far, now I want to officially welcome you, Mr. Abulwa, who is my senior, at least to say something about our presentation uh, today. Welcome, Mr. Abulwa. Uh, thank you. Good evening, everybody. I hope you are getting me. Yeah, we are. Yes, uh, I don't have much to say. I just want to appreciate the lesson. Although I came in late, but I think that was wonderfully done. I saw the last bits of the conclusion and all that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Masari, for the presentation. I also want to commend your students, because the students are very active. And I've even seen the Google Classroom, they are very participating quite well. They are turning in their work very well. They are interacting, they are commenting very well. It's a very good class. And thank I know you. those students of yours will, will go far. Yes. So students, keep up the spirit. and. Uh, the sky, the sky should not be the limit. I'm sure you'll go very, very far. I've enjoyed being with you this time. And I said, I don't have much. Let me wish you all the best as you continue interacting and getting knowledge from Mr. Masaria. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, makofi kwa Mr. Abulwa. <laughs> Namtigia makofi. Ah, naona makofi huko kwa maua. <laughs> so that is very good, uh, Mr. Abulwa. So Mr. Inganji is uh, my friend. Thank you, thank you, Mr. thank you. Yeah. Mr. Inganji is a teacher at Kisangula Secondary School. Those of us who have been very keen, uh, you may have noticed that Kisangula and Rialo, uh, they have <laughs> something in common. Maua, what is that? <laughs> What do we have in common, Kisangula and Vialo? Unmute. It seems that Mawa is having some technical hitches. She's been participating so actively. So Vialo and Kisangula, we have been very keen in Kenya Sands and Engineering Fair. We've been going all the way to the nationals uh, all the years. So Mr. Inganji, Thank you very much. Then Mr. Abulwa is uh, a friend. Mr. Abulwa is a teacher at Nyangori Boys uh, High School. He has been my trainer in some online uh, course that we've been undergoing by Semaster. So he's my mentor and he's also uh, the secretary of KSF in Vihiga County. So this is a teacher whom we've worked with closely for so many years. So Mr. Abulwa, thank you for attending the lesson. Mr. Inganji, thank you for attending the lesson. And the students, uh, thank you very much. Uh, at this juncture, I want to request, I want to request Aluda, if you are there, to please pray for us, uh, then uh, we shall end the meeting. Aluda, please pray for us. Unmute first. It seems Aluda is lost. <laughs> uh, what about uh, Kemboy? Kemboy, please pray for us. We want to close. Kemboy, are you there? Yeah, I can see you've uh, unmuted. Please pray for us. Eh? 
Oh God, I bless you. I bless you. Mungu Baba, na kushukuru na kuinua. Nasema ni asanti. Leso ni imeanza na imeisha viyama. Tuna kushukuru. Na shukuru, tulale viyama, tuamuke viyama. Shukuli zota za kesho, mikono ni mwako. Nasema ni asanti, nita kulinua jina lako. Zingire katika shukuli zota za kesho. Nasema ni asanti. Katika jina la yesu, mwamba na kuamini. Amina. Ah, pia wewe yeah. na kupigia makofi. <laughs> thank, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very much. Now, yeah, everybody has uh, the option of uh, living in case uh, he or she wants to live. Please. But if you want to stay around, I'll be the last <laughs> one to end the meeting. <laughs> Yeah, bye bye, Kemboy. Bye bye, bye bye, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> good night, good night, everyone. Good night, good night. We want to close. I'm ending the meeting officially. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>